Efendimiz Aleyhisselatü Vesselam bir salavat ile yücedir, yüceldelim inşallah. Şanımız, şerefimiz artar. Buyurun. La ilahe illallah La ilahe illallah La ilahe illallah Muhammed Nebi Subhanahu wa ta'ala has just gathered us here together. We didn't make this arrangement, this plan. He did it. For that, first, we have to say, we have to remember him saying, La ilahe illallah. Then, for whole mankind, for every creature that is coming to creation, is coming to creation because of the most beloved one in divine present, Muhammad Aleyhisselatü Vesselam. And Shaitan, he is very angry for that. Saying, this group of people coming together from different parts of the world to remembering their Lord. They are not coming together to make business, they're not coming together to benefit from each other, they're not coming together to learn and to run after this dunya, they're coming together to know about their Lord. Shaitan is very upset with you. For that, you must say, Eyzi billahi mineş şeytani rahim, Bismillahi rahmani rahim. That is the key word Eyzi billahi mineş şeytani rajim We are asking shelter and help from our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala If you stay along with shaytan Shaytan is so clever Don't you dare declaring uh, word to that one He will knock you down no matter who you are But if you are asking shelter from our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the help will reach to you. That time, you will not be busy with shaitan. You will be busy with Rahman. When you are busy with Allah, that time shaitan stays far away from you. So saying, Eyzi billahi mine shaitan rajim, we are asking shelter from our Lord, saying, protect us, ya Rabbi, from the evil actions the actions shaitan is not putting. Shaitan is putting the inspiration to you. The actions you do it with your own hands. As a human. The shaitan is coming. Ves ves putting things in your heart. And 
Now you are in between. Which one is right and which one is wrong? You don't know. You get mixed up. When you are mixed up, that time shaitan is taking over. When you don't have a guide, who will be your guide? Shaitan is going to be your guide. And shaitan, to be protected from the attack of shaitan, Eizu billahi mineş şeytani rajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, you pull the sword of the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving this word, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, as a holy word to hold Muslims as a present. They were not saying that before. Şeytan, before Muhammed aleyhissalatü vesselam was appearing in human form to a man. And man is not knowing, is this shaitan or is this human? But now shaitan cannot appear to you in human form. Because you have Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. He runs away. But today's people, they didn't left anything for shaitan. Shaitan is sitting and watching, saying, they are doing so good job, that I cannot do it better than that. <laughs> yes. Who is doing? The Jews that the Muslims they are attacking, or they are trying to say, Jews are so bad. Or the Christians, and what about Muslims? What Muslims are doing? You have all these things in your hand, and what are you doing? How you are living? How you are protecting yourself from the tricks and the traps of shaitan? You have an ego. Everyone has an ego. You may do the things that Allah said to you do. That's what so many Muslims they are doing. Saying, I am praying. Say, mashallah, what else are you doing? I am fasting. Very good. What else are you doing? I am giving zakat. Good. What else are you doing? I am going to hajj. Okay. These are the principles of Islam. The four walls that Islam is sitting on it now. After all, you're doing all this. You must be a correct believer. But we are watching. Allah. The man is doing all this, but he's still doing evil actions. He's still doing so many wrong things. There's something is wrong somewhere. He is doing what Allah is saying, do. But he is not running away from what Allah says, don't do. That's why he's falling into the tricks and the traps of shaitan again. So that happens with what? With your ego. First, you are in this world, the mankind, the children of Adam. Don't separate anything now. Think, the children of Adam, why they have been sent to this world? White, black, green, yellow, red. Is a green man? Yeah, one they call green man, Khazr <laughs> Yeah, what else? We don't have green, we have red necks. Oh. I mean, red people. And we have white. We have yellow. We have different types. These are different rays. Then, so many nations now. So many tribes. But they're all coming from Hazreti Adam and Hazreti Hawa. Origin coming from there. Why they have been created, all these people? For what reason? To go to find one and each other? To destroy one and each other? To go to find one and each other? To say, you are wrong, I am right, I, for that reason I must destroy, I must kill you? No! Our Lord saying, we have created you in different nations, different tribes. We give you Different secrets as of nations, as of tribes. So we want you to go find one or each other. To share that knowledge, to share that beauty and to grow together. Every nation they have different secrets. But today, 21st century, what we did? How, how? Ready to eat each other. Whole mankind is ready to destroy themselves. 
and they are ready to destroy this world together in it. Is that what happened? Yes. Is it in the last drops right now that is going to happen? Yes. Because this mankind, they pass their limits because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla Jalalu, He has given the controls of the earth and the skies to the hand of children of Adam. But the supreme ruler, supreme ruling, it is in his hand. But he is giving the authority of the earth and the skies into the hand of the children of Adam. And the children of Adam, they left the ways and the teachings of the prophets. And they have depended on their own intelligence. And they have depended on their own feelings and their own ego. And that's what they built today. So much intelligence, so much knowledge. Where is the knowledge to teach you to live like a human next to each other? Where is those universities? Is there is any university teaching you how to live like a human? Huh. Is there is any in China? I went there, I am fine. I was looking, saying maybe in India, everyone running to find his spirituality in India, so these gurus, they becoming so Googling, they thinking they have a spirituality, but I'm watching them, ha oh, oh, spirituality, long time ago, left away from them. <laughs> and these empty head Americans, <laughs> they reach to the top civilizations in their own mind, they reach to the top of the technology, they reach to the top of understanding the material, so now they are thirsty for spirituality. They are waking up. They say there is something missing, the spirituality. And soon as that they hear, they are running to India to say spirituality is there. No. Spirituality, it is in Islam. And spirituality has been given in the time of Musa Aleyhisselam. Everything to the Musa Aleyhisselam. And he came down with hundred tablets, not two, not ten commandments. When he went up to the mountain of Tur and he was receiving the informations and the ayahs and the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he put all those people from the ignorance, he put all those people from the hands of Firaun, from the hands of tyranny, and he moved them away from his slavery. He brought them around in the order of Allah to the around of mountain tour and saying to them, wait here, I am going up receiving now. We are million people. We need laws. We don't know how to live. We were slaves. We don't know how to live. So we need our Lord to show us how to live. And he went up to the mountain, receiving the information. <coughs> and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him the orders, the shariat, the laws, what he put for the men. Then saying the laws alone, it is too heavy. And I am giving you also spirituality with this. And Musa alayhi salam coming down with hundred tablets. He is looking down, all those people that he is taking away from his slavery, from tyranny, instantly they turn around, they build idols, they start worshipping to idols, and they start in their own understanding saying, we have to enjoy, we have to make party. And they start doing all kinds of ugly actions. And Musa alayhi salam looking down to them saying, Oh my Lord, you are giving them this spirituality and this spirituality is going to bring them from the earth to the paradise while they are living on the earth. And these people, they just came out from slavery and they became disobedient to you. They don't deserve it. <coughs> For Allah saying to him, Ya Musa, do as you like. So Musa alayhi salam removed that 
in spirituality. From that hundred tablet, 98 of them throw it to them, and they all burn with it. And two tablets left. Those are the laws. The strict laws. And they should be living with that condition. Sometimes they carry it. Sometimes they, they, they couldn't carry. So they deviated from the main road again. Then Allah's mercy reached to them again. Then Allah is sending Isa aleyhisselam among them again. Without a father showing miracle to them saying your Lord is capable to do everything. So I am sending Isa to you to teach you, to show you spirituality. Because heavy laws, you cannot carry it along. So you need to carry the spirituality together. When Isa aleyhisselam is coming, they rise against to him. They even went far, far as distant, trying to kill him. They, in their own mind, they think they did. So many billions believed, believing today, they did it. They couldn't. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift him from the earth, body and the spirit to the paradise. And Isa alayhi salam is one prophet that is living in the paradise, body and the spirit. And he didn't die. He came to the earth living and with that spirit and body, he went to paradise. He didn't die. So Allah promising, saying, every creature that I am giving life, they must taste the death. For that reason, Isa Aleyhisselam must come back down to taste the death. So Isa Aleyhisselam is preparing to come back for several reasons. He went like that for some times. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending his last prophet, the seals of the prophet for whole mankind. Muhammad alayhi wasalam. And with that sending the Quran i Kerim, the last book, saying everything that I sent before, I am lifting, taking. It is not up to date anymore. Delete it from your computers. <laughs> new ones coming down, new orders coming down, new laws and new spirituality. And Prophet coming to teach mankind. How they are going to live on face of earth. According the way that their Lord wants them to live. Not the way that they are ego wants them to live. Not the way that their ego become partner with shaitan. To live shaitanic lifestyle on the face of earth. That's why Holy Prophet is sent over 1400 years ago. He is the seals of the Prophet. There is no more Prophet coming. Don't expect to wait to another prophet to come. No, he's not coming. Isa salam is coming back, but he's not coming back as a prophet. He's going to come back carrying the laws of the Sharia of the Quran i Kerim. He's going to live according to that. And it's only one, two actions left between his start sending down. Isa alayhi salam is now in the first skies, first paradise. He was up to third, but he's ascended down to second, now he's in the first. Between him and dunya is nothing left now. As soon as Mehdi alayhi salam is taking the takbir, that jal is appearing, Isa alayhi salam will send down to Damascus, to Sham. This is what the whole mankind is prepared now. But before that, this mankind, as we say, they didn't live according to the laws of their Lord. Jews, Christians, and Muslims. These are the Ibrahimi religions. All the other ones already, they have deviated so long time ago. These main religions... They are deviated from the road too. And the Muslims, Muslims, they are saying shahadat, they are praying, but their lifestyle is not Islam. Holy Prophet coming to teach us how to live according to Islam. How to live according to Islam means what? According to the 
Lord of the heavens and earth. He's saying to us how Allah wants us to live. And if we are following, we will learn. If we are not following, we are just adapting some lifestyle that the family members that were you born in, and that family is which country they are, and they adopted that type of lifestyle, and they start believing that that is right. But it's not. So many cases now, long time happened now, there is so many wrong things enter to Islam, and Muslims today they are falling to the lowest level because their book is still up to date, their prophet is still there, but they left the way of Islam, the lifestyle, and they are copying the lifestyle, not the Christians, the Westerners. Westerners, they are not living the lifestyle of the real Christianity. No. They are not living the lifestyle of real Judaism. No. What they are living? Secularism. No religion. As you like. <laughs> couple of ayash, couple of guys that who drinks day and night, sitting down, making laws. And you have to live according to those laws. Yes. Tomorrow, if I will become a lawmaker, I will make law too, and you live according to that. <laughs> it's a man-made, it's no good. I cannot reach to that one, to that one, to this one, to that one. The law has to be God-made, Allah-made. Allah made you, and Allah made him, and Allah made that one, and Allah made this one. He knows what is your need is. He puts in that book. And if we don't follow, if we don't find a guide to hold on tightly, to learn and to apply to our life, slowly we start deviating from the main road, which that's what happened, which Holy Prophet saying in Ahir Zaman, in the end of the times, my nation is going to deviate 73 different sects, 73 different ways. He said, the Jews, they have deviated 71 different ways. One is stay in Sirat Mustaqim, that they enter to paradise. 70, they enter to fire. Says the Christians, they have deviated, they're going to deviate 72 different ways. One is going to stay in the right road, the other 71 is entering to the wrong side. He said, my nation, they are going to deviate 73 different ways. One is staying in Sirat Mustaqim in the right way. The other 72, they are falling to the wrong sides. So now, we reach to the last days on the earth. It is not too much time left between us and in the judgment day. We have been curated for a reason. We have been sent to this world for a reason. And this is not our home. This is not our house. If they will be your house, you'll be comfortable everywhere. But you are not. No matter which situation you get into, the man is poor thinking, if I will become rich, I'm going to be very happy and very peaceful. Becomes rich, no peace again. The man is in trouble saying, if I find cure for this sickness that I am in, in this trouble, I'm going to find peace. No, it's falling into another trouble. The man is not married thinking, oh, I need a wife. I should find a wife and get married. So all my problems are going to finish. He's finding wife. Oh, oh his problems start doubling and tripling. <laughs> the woman saying, I have a problem. I need to get married. And running and finding somebody saying, I should be marrying this one. And he's getting married, thinking that the problems are finishing. Now entering to a problem that never entered before. <laughs> That's what happened 21st century people. They love each other so much. I will die for you. I will kill for you. I will do this for you. I will do that for you. Until they get married. As soon as they get married, 
Say, I will kill you. <laughs> and you will kill me. I will kill you. They end up in the courthouse. They trying to destroy each other a little bit that they have. They trying to destroy each other. So, where is your love? Your love was just like a balloon. Somebody put the needle and it just disappeared. No. There wasn't a love. There was attraction. That there was passion. That he didn't connect it with the love of Allah and his prophet. That's why it just disappeared. As soon as you run to that, first appearance is good. good. <coughs> soon, soon as you had it in your hand, you start feeling cold, saying, your eyes start looking left and right more. Especially today's people. Today's people, they never keep their eyes to themselves. They are not happy with anything, even if they have the best. They're not happy. They're running to the wars. Why? Because mankind is trying to find complete peace on the face of earth. But this is not your house. You're not going to find complete peace here. You are a traveler. You are just coming from one door of this to this world. And you're going to go out from the other side. And that making mankind to start shivering. They don't want to hear about that anymore. Muslims, especially. Muslims, they should be very happy. Muslims, they should be happy <coughs> when they are start thinking about their Lord. Saying, I cannot wait to meet you, my Lord. I cannot wait to meet my prophet. Where is that love? Do you have that love? If you have that love, you cannot sit anywhere. You must be running all the time for Allah's sake. You must be running. That gives you energy. That gives you power. You will not be set. You will not be upset. Because you are not running to get something in your hand. You know that you are just a traveler. And you are passing through. And you are just running to build things to become better ones. If you do that, that is the time that you may find a little bit peace and face over it. Otherwise... There is no. And the Americans now looking, saying, we're going to make peace. We're going to find peace. And the trouble, we find the trouble. Who's the trouble? The terrorist. <coughs> Who make the terrorist? Isn't it you? Where these terrorists, they grow up. Which is schools? They study Hmm. Didn't they study in the schools of evolution theory? The schools that is teaching man to think that he's coming from monkey? And you teach them that action. And they are doing a monkey action, of course. The monkeys, they cannot just sit and do nothing. They have to fight. They have to run. The gorillas, they cannot let anybody to come around. Oh. <laughs> and that's what they teach. Where is the school that you are teaching male to be a male, man to be a man, woman to be a woman? Where is your schools? Do you have any schools like that? Are you teaching the man what is the purpose of his life? Are you teaching the mankind, these children when they growing up, everyone saying, my baby has to go to school. Now they're bringing them to school at three years of age. Four years of age. So why you don't let the kid home to rest? It, why are you putting this burden on the kid and the five years old kid sitting in front of the computer? <laughs> and knowing everybody is so happy saying, my child is so intelligent. Of course, you are putting so much burden on that child that when he's going to reach to 20 years of age, he's just going to expire. 20 years of age, it is the most powerful time for a man. He can change the way of the world. Sultan Mehmet Han, Fatih Sultan Mehmet, the conqueror, he changed something. What did he change? And changing what? What happens with end of Roman rule? Beginning of new age, 
Mankind is moving from Middle Age and entering to a new age. 1453, the man was only 21 years old and he entered. He finished the Roman law and he put the laws of Islam. And after that, world start rising to the serial civilization, yes. They entered to Europe, which the Europeans at that time, they were not even knowing how to live, how to wash themselves. Yes. They brought them hammam, they brought them soap, they brought them, how they going to be a man? How they going to be a woman? What they should be doing? This is what they teach. This is what Islam is teaching. First, I am watching. Sometimes they have this discovery channel. And they are putting so many unusual things, so many things, uh, how the cockroach is living, how the ant is living, how the butterfly is living, how the lion is living. They are concentrating every animal, how they are living, how they are growing up, how these little animals inside the earth, how they are living. I'm watching very good information. They're giving all the information. But I have never seen in their channel saying how the man should supposed to be living. The man is running to discover the little animals to the big animals, but is never running to discover himself to say, who am I? And who are you? Oh, I am Hans Alex. Yeah. Who gave you this name? When did you come to this life? What is your reality? From where are you coming from? That part, Shaitan saying, stay silent, don't say nothing, let them be busy with the world. Because if they are busy with the world, I can make them hostage. If they are not busy with the world and they start searching about themselves, something is going to happen to them. No, keep them busy. 24 hours running around, back and forth, becoming like robots. Early in the morning, everyone getting us, going on, train station, cars moving around. What's happening? Watching. Everyone so fast <coughs> coming. <coughs> Watch them coming out from train stations in the streets of New York City. They're moving so fast. So, there must be something emergency. Where are they going? Where are they going to go? They're going to go to work that they are hating. <laughs> they are so tired, but they're going so fast. Evening, they cannot wait. <laughs> Top speed, running to the train stations. <laughs> where are you going? Slow down. So, no, no, no. I'm busy. Running, going to where? Coming home. Oh, I'm finished. One more day. Open the television. Uh, give me the soda. <laughs> Give me the burger, give me pizza, and sleep over there. Until next morning. He wakes up, it's morning again. I need to go to work again. So many, they don't go to wash their face. <laughs> no, running top speed out again. Is this reminding you something? You're laughing about it, of course. <laughs> must be something in it for you too because you're living in that system and running top speed and i was watching i run businesses in new york city for so many years and i was coming but never coming running like that i was before than anybody getting up three o'clock doing all my prayers later start driving hours nice meditation coming to opening a store and sitting and watching people Oh, another day is beginning. Top speed people, they're going to move from here. People that I know every day, top speed, years. And one day that person disappears. Say, so what happened to this person? Oh, Sheh, you didn't hear? He died. Allah, this is the reason? This is the reason that you have been curated to run after this world to be a slave? An unexpected time just angel of that is going to stack you and you're going to be out from this world and not thinking why you are not thinking that's what our Lord saying to us why you are not thinking 
Why you don't sit down to think? Take your time and think. Yes. That's why Holy Prophet is saying to us. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit sick, but it's okay again. I'm talking. Holy Prophet is saying. Sitting one hour alone and to meditate. Meditation means rabuta. Rabuta means there. Sitting one hour and thinking by yourself what I did and why I did. Who sent me here? First thing. What is it that he wants from me? Every day if you sit and think one hour, Holy Prophet saying, it is better than worshipping, voluntarily worshipness, 70 years. 70 years of worshipness is equal for one hour sitting and thinking. Thinking the reasonings why you are in this world. Why you have been created. And what is that? That one who has created you want from you. Everybody wants something from you. And in reality, that's why you're running. To make those people happy. The man is running top speed. In his spirit, he really doesn't want to work so much. But he loves a woman saying, I must run to make better house for her. I must run to give her a better car. I must run to give her this. And in these days, 21st century, be careful. I'm talking from the experience. You give them everything. They, they, they turn around saying to you, well, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> and you are not that strong. You will become depressed. And you will start finding hate inside you. And you say, I'm going to kill her. Shaitan is coming to you saying, you are right. You must kill her. And so many times, that's what is really happening. It is wrong. Because the beginning is wrong. Because... You are not living for Allah's sake. If you are living for Allah's sake, you're going to find everything in front of you. It's not what this one or that one wants from me. The most important. The most important is what my Lord wants from me. What is it that, what kind of right he has on me? My friends, they have right on me. My children, they have right on me. My mother and my father has right on me. My Muslim brothers, they have right on me. Everyone, they have right on me. But who has the most right? Your Lord. So first you have to run to do his right. And when you are keeping his right priority, everything is going to fall into their places automatically. You don't need to work so much that time. You don't need to work because he is Allah. Second priority is his power.